This pandemic has been particularly hard for nonprofit groups and for the arts community. But thanks to your generous donations to the Victoria Foundation, more than $2.3 million has been distributed to help 126 organizations like Ballet Victoria here on southern Vancouver Island. Take a look. I think dancers dance because they have to. I think the thing that we're doing is being able to give back in a way that we can, in the way that we know. So the fact that Paul was able to allow us to do that has really made a huge difference, not only in each of our lives, um, but in everybody's life. The Paul that Ballet Victoria's Andrea Baines is referring to is artistic director Paul Destruper. I was committed to keep the dancers working. We kept offering the community, and this was for free, dance classes every day via uh, social media. We made a social disc dancing video that was very successful. So we did this for the whole lockdown period, and then we planned what we were going to do next. Out of all the nonprofits that have had to twist and change and pivot and come up with ideas, the arts sector has been the greatest challenge but very creative. If you look in vital signs, for instance, in the arts, 82% would be having financial loss in 2020. If we can perform, I can pay the dancers, and then we're rolling. If we don't have that, uh, that's it. It's like a kiss of death. Destruber knew his company could not afford to rent main stage theaters, as limited seating could never recoup the cost. So why not create a theater in Ballet Victoria's rehearsal space? I was able to successfully get some grants and then I literally built it myself. That means like um, figuring out the electrical for the lights and uh, the stage legs and where we put the stage and then make the whole space COVID uh, safe. Death Trooper even flipped the stage to the opposite end of the room to maximize safety. We actually reversed the room so the airflow would, would never go like for example from the dancers to uh, to the audience yeah, and then we set up the, the risers with like extreme social distance. And after October we thought okay we can break even, we can make the space work, we can perform. Now we had a shutdown again. A devastating blow for all of us including anyone who makes their living through the arts. What a horrible Christmas gift it would be for the dancers to like sorry we can't do the shows, we can't pay your salary, you're laid off. The Victoria Foundation actually kind of brought us that, that um, opportunity to, to keep going. Victoria Foundation is very proud to be dispersing 2.3 million from our community recovery program. And this is a program that is designed to help uh, nonprofits in a time to keep them afloat or to help them uh, because of uh, COVID-19. It is made up of a suite of new funds called the Community Action Funds. And these were designed after the Rapid Relief Fund, where there's nine different funds in there. You can choose anything from arts to education to health care. Because of the latest restrictions, performances of the Nutcracker are now cancelled. But our TV station is going to ensure that all of you can experience the Nutcracker and other heartwarming performances that we will broadcast. I think in this season, if there's something we all need right now, it's more color, more joy, and that experience. The art is for all seasons, but particularly this season. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.